Morning, Bert. Good morning, Ernie. So, what's the scripture for today? Today's scripture is Luke 16, verses 19 through 31, otherwise known as the rich man and Lazarus. So, it's the rich man and the poor man. It's named the rich man and Lazarus, Ernie. However, you are right in that Lazarus is a poor man. Oh, okay, Bert. Well, I'm ready to hear your reading of the Battle of the Bucks. <sighs> there was a rich man who was dressed in purple and fine linen and lived in luxury every day. At his gate was a beggar named Lazarus, covered with sores and longing to eat what fell from the rich man's table. Even the dogs came and licked his sores. Wow, I bet Lazarus was getting sore at the dogs for licking him. Oh, sorry, S sorry, Bert, keep reading. The time came when the beggar died, and the angels carried him to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried. In Hades, where he was in torment, he looked up and saw Abraham far away with Lazarus by his side. So he called to him, Father Abraham, have pity on me and send Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue, because I am in agony in this fire. Well, I guess he shouldn't have been such hot stuff in life. Oh, okay. Sorry, Bert. Keep reading. <sighs> but Abraham replied, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, while Lazarus received bad things. But now he is comforted here, and you are in agony. And besides all this, between us and you, a great chasm has been set in place, so that those who want to go from here to you cannot, nor can anyone cross over from there to us. Oh, Bert, what's a chasm? A chasm is a deep fissure in the earth, rock, or another surface. A chasm is also known as a profound difference between people, viewpoints, feelings, etc. Oh, okay, Bert, so it's kind of like a gap. Y yeah, Bernie, I guess you can call it that. So I bet the size of the fissure left the rich man gaping at the gap. <laughs> oh, okay, sorry, Bert, keep reading. You can't help yourself, can you, Ernie? Nope. Not when you got the gift of gab. <sighs> he answered, Then I beg you, Father, send Lazarus to my family, for I have five brothers. Let him warn them, so they will not also come to this place of torment. Abraham replied, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them listen to them. No, Father Abraham, he said, But if someone from the dead goes to them, they will repent. He said to him, If they do not listen to Moses and the prophets, they will not be convinced even if someone rises from the dead. So you're saying that the rich man's relatives wouldn't even listen to the dead if they wouldn't listen to Moses and the prophets. That's right, Ernie. I get it, Bert. That means that the rich man's relatives would even be deaf to the dead.